All right, baby. What do you think about season 10 so far? This is pretty. Yep, we're up here at Sunset Crater, right outside of uh, Flagstaff. This is a monument uh, area, part of the National Park Service. We use the old geezer pass to get in here for free, so uh, uh, we enjoyed that. But uh, it's got a bunch of storyboards up here explaining what goes on. Dogs are not allowed on the trails up here, so we brought Bentley today. So we're just going to cruise around and check it out. Yeah. But uh, it's very different up here. Uh, it's different. <clears throat> we'll show you back at camp uh, about the cinders and how they feel and and what they look like and stuff and at the off-road area that's what we're staying at but we thought we'd just go for a drive today it's 18 miles all the way up to the uh, other relics that's up on the end of the drive i don't want to pronounce the name because i'll butcher it i'm sure oh, the one that starts with a w yeah starts with a w but w anyway P but anyway we're just out having a good time yep pronounce it <laughs> here here we are the whoop to key or whoop key national monument farther down the road we just left the kokanee national forest and then of course uh sunset crater a monument farther up the road but it's a good road out here it's no problem uh getting around right. but this first time i've ever been here uh, down this road it's about 18 miles all the way to the back it says 35 on that paper does it yeah Mm. Holy crap. But hopefully it's worth it. The brochure looked like it's pretty cool. So we're going to go down and check it out. There's a little storyboard right up here. Let's go see what that says. But it's really pretty. That's the painted desert out there, I guess, that we saw from the top of the hill. Yeah, I bet it's really pretty when it's clear. And I have no idea what this is, but it's out of order. We do it in Braille. So you crank it, uh, maybe so uh, it'll tell you something. <laughs> maybe it's audible. But anyway, we came in way down here. Let's see, 35 miles. So we came in here, went through here, through here. And then there's a vis visitor center up here. So we're it's got a bunch of ruins and stuff like that. It says. Looks like this whole road goes all the way back up to the uh, yeah. back up to 89. Got the Navajo end of reservation over here. So you can't backcountry hike or off trail travel. Not permitted in either park. But we saw some guy up there parked. So we know. Uh, because he's been sitting. Didn't arrest him. He had his visor on his uh, windshield. Didn't see anybody in there. But anyway, they'll have restrooms and everything up here. Entrance fees begin October 14th. Uh, I don't understand that. We'll find out. So you got all three national monuments here in Flagstaff. Sunset Crater, Volcano, Walnut Canyon, and the whoop de key <laughs> Or however the you say it. Key. Oh well. But let's go. Let's get on down the road. Let's go see what this is about. Well, the visitor center is right back over there. So this road dead ends right here at this Pueblo, which is Wukoki. Something like, something like something that. Something like that, I think. <laughs> but despite exposure to elements for 800 years, stands a tribute to the Pueblonian ancestors who paused to farm here during the 1100s. God, I bet it was hot. But they say there's meticulous corners and everything, so this is going to be pretty cool. And from the way it looks, we're going to be able to walk right up inside it. So, let's check it out. Yeah, let's go see. Big house. <laughs> Big house. So that's pretty cool. Just look at the lines, how they did all that. 
This is really going to be interesting. This is why I want to go up to Cortez, because there's some big ruins up there too. So let's go check it out. A little windy out here today. Look at these steps. And they say there's pottery laying all over here. They ask you not to pick any of the pottery up. Just look how they put all this together, piece by piece, mortared it all in. What you think of this? You ever seen anything like this before, Kim? Not really, I don't think. Was this the windows? Yep, ventilation, be able to look out. Eight hundred years old. I sure could see anything coming for a ways. Well, this is like a place you just come sit down outside. Yep, just a little shelter. Lord knows what was there. Shelter. Keep you keep the wind off of you. I'm not yep, some little city area. Little trail all the way around. Pretty cool. I guess they just went around here and broke off things and started building or something. Yeah. There's still all that rock that's down there. See all the layers over there? So they just took those, chipped them up to where they needed, and started building. See the little room in here? Mm-hmm. It's pretty small. Yeah. Pretty small. It's kind of cool though. Yep. <laughs> you go inside there and you can see where they actually did have another another layer up there. Oh, yeah? oh really? Oh, my God. Maybe two, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Holy crap, almost got stuck. <laughs> Reminds me of that cave up in Banff. You big man. It's <laughs> tough to get in if you're big. It's nice and cool up here. Yep. I guess that's why it's built up so high so the sun can't go yep. over the sun, huh? Yep. Get out of the elements. A little bit of protection. But I'll see how you get out of the elements when there's no roof. Well, because it doesn't rain out here too much. That's true. So you really don't need to have really a roof over your head. You just need to get out of the wind and the sun and Wonder where they cooked. Mm, probably right outside out there somewhere. But very cool. Mm. Well that was very cool. That's pretty cool. We enjoyed that one. There's a couple more of them up the road. We'll see uh, what they're all about. But hey. I said that one was the best one, remember? Yeah, that was his favorite. So uh, remember some days here. We're out enjoying this beautiful country. We've been over this four or five times and gone down this road I don't know how many times never been here, and right? I've never been here there's so, plenty of places we've never been so this season 10 
that's what we're going for. We're going to go try to find some stuff that uh, we can uh, go see something different. Take our time. We're in no hurry. And we're just going to enjoy it. So just remember, stop the madness. Start the adventure. Next time. <laughs>